Hey guys, let's get more news about SAN Francisco 49ers, but first, don't forget to subscribe and leave your like. Watch 49ers QB Purdy throw out first pitch before Giants-Dodgers game. It's no secret that 49ers quarterback Brock Purdy has a good arm and that applies to both football and baseball. The star signal caller and reigning NFC champion threw out the first pitch before the San Francisco Giants-Los Angeles Dodgers game on Tuesday evening at Oracle Park, delivering a heater that pitcher Kyle Harrison couldn't quite handle in front of a roaring Bay Area crowd. Purdy is no stranger to baseball, as he played shortstop and second base for two years in high school and credits the sport for his ability to easily change arm angles as a quarterback. His father, Sean Purdy, spent eight years in minor league baseball as a right-handed relief pitcher, and three of those seasons came in the Giants' organization. The younger Purdy's baseball roots were on display Tuesday as he handled the pressure of throwing a successful first pitch with ease. Purdy's 49ers teammate Fred Warner, however, can't say as much after he whiffed his chance to make it anywhere near the plate at the Giants' home opener. While Warner eventually blamed his bad first pitch on a lack of sleep thanks to his newborn baby, Purdy's own recent life event appeared to have him refreshed after he married his college sweetheart Jenna in March. Purdy's offseason last year was marred by a UCL injury to his throwing elbow and subsequent surgery, but the 49ers quarterback's arm looks better than ever as San Francisco looks to return to the Super Bowl during the 2024 NFL season. At this point, it is ridiculous to argue that Brock Purdy is not a $50 million a year NFL quarterback. On Monday, Detroit Lions quarterback Jared Goff rejoined the group of highest-paid NFL quarterbacks with a reported four-year, $212 million contract extension that includes $170 million in guaranteed money. If Goff is worth a huge sum of money this year, it would appear to bode well for Purdy's future. And that is a fact that 49er CEO Jed York spoke about during the NFL annual meeting in March. It's what the market is, York said. Brock is going to ask for something that no one has ever asked for before. You see the market has changed. Whether I like it or not, that's what the market is, and you have to accept the reality of the world. Goff slots in at $53 million per year, ranking number two in the NFL behind Cincinnati's Joe Burrow, who signed a deal last summer worth $55 million a year. Greeny hilariously upset Jets' opening season versus 49ers on MNF. Football fans were hyped when the NFL announced a Monday night football clash between the 49ers and New York Jets in week one of the 2024 NFL season at Levi's Stadium. Well, perhaps all but one fan. Mike Greenberg, ESPN's Get Up host and noted Jets fan, had a traumatic reaction after first being informed of the opening week matchup. Alan, Han, you've hosted this show, right? Get ready. I'm not sure I can make it through the rest of the day, Greenberg said. Ladies and gentlemen, the only thing I asked for as the NFL schedule release came out was to not let the Jets open on Monday night. Whatever else happens, don't let the Jets open on Monday night. And what was I just told? Hey Roger, Goodell, what did I do to you? We just got together at the draft. It was so nice. I do the best I can to be as friendly as I can to everybody. The Jets are opening Monday night at San Francisco against one of the toughest defensive lines in the world. I have seen this movie. It ends quickly and very, very badly. I'm saying this right now, this is not fair. I want an investigation. It is anti large market bias. I want an investigation into this. I'm telling you, I don't think we should send Aaron Rodgers on the trip. Do not send Aaron on the trip. Get Zach Wilson back. Let him start week one. Of course, Greenberg's concern isn't unreasonable. Rodgers, who spent 18 seasons with the Green Bay Packers, was traded to the Jets last April. His highly anticipated Jets debut, which also fell on the first Monday night football of the 2023 season, took a heartbreaking turn just four snaps into New York's Week 1 contest against the Buffalo Bills. 
he was carted off the field and it was later determined that he had torn his Achilles, sidelining him for the rest of the season. And to make matters worse for Greenberg and Jets fans, Leonard Floyd, the defensive end who sacked Rodgers on the play that wound up ending his season, signed with the 49ers this offseason. I'm sweating now, Greenberg said as he took off his jacket to close out the segment. It is a new year against a new team, and Roger certainly hopes for a different result in 2024. Greenberg, on the other hand, might not be watching the 49ers take on the Jets four months from now. Bill Barnwell thinks the SAN Francisco 49ers should trade for Trey Burks. The SAN Francisco 49ers love pedigree and need a wide receiver, and with the Tennessee Titans apparently outclassing former first-round pick Trey Burks, ESPN's Bill Barnwell thinks the SAN Francisco 49ers should tackle. During the rest of the offseason, Barnwell had the SAN Francisco 49ers trade for Burks. A team that in the past has felt comfortable landing shots on talented receivers? The SAN Francisco 49ers, who generally mitigate that risk by selecting wideouts in the middle rounds while trusting they can get the most out of them on the field, Barnwell writes. SAN Francisco 49ers did not appear to pursue Burks in 2022, but if Burks had been available in the second or third round, the story could have been different. Barnwell notes that Burks is owed more than $8 million this season and that the Titans will need to spend money or attach a draft pick on Burks in order to move him. Obviously, that's a lot of money for a marginally productive wide receiver. Burks has just 49 receptions for 665 yards and one touchdown since entering the league, and in 2023, he has just 16 receptions for 221 yards, of which 70 of those yards came on just one catch. Last season was supposed to be a breakout season for Burks, with the Titans also adding DeAndre Hopkins as a free agent, but it just didn't happen. If you're a fool who gave up a first-round pick for him in your dynasty fantasy football league betting on the breakout, like me, you're hoping for a change of scenery after the Titans also added Calvin Ridley and Tyler Boyd via free agency this offseason. That leaves opportunities for Burke scarce this season, although Titans coach Brian Callahan has suggested the team wants to keep Burks. It seems hard to believe— given where he will be on the depth chart, that the Titans wouldn't consider moving Burks for the future. Withdrawal of capital, even if it is not much. Barnwell's pitch is for Burks to Pittsburgh for a 2026 sixth-round draft pick, with Tennessee receiving $6 million of the money Burks is owed in 2024. For the Steelers, this is something I think could be palatable to them, getting a player who clearly had first-round talent who simply didn't live up to his billing for almost nothing. After trading Deontay Johnson, there is still a hole in the receiver room that still needs to be filled, and Burks could step into that role on the outside alongside George Pickens. The Steelers could consider adding a bigger name at wide receiver like Cortland Sutton, but if they can't work something out, Burks is an interesting driver. There's a chance he doesn't pan out and the first-round talent was just a mirage, but for a sixth-round pick with Tennessee getting most of the salary, it's worth the risk and Burks could see the field immediately in Pittsburgh. And you fan? What do you think of the situation of Traylon Burks? Leave your opinion in the comments.